So here is a game called Snowy World. The description reads, the world is cold and harsh. WASD to move and space to jump. Why are my hands on fire? Okay, let's move around and maybe we can find out why my hands are on fire. Now the snow does look good. I gotta give the game credit. It's um, It has this grainy old time feel. It's almost like we're watching like an uh, a movie, like an FMV from an old PlayStation 1 game. Um, but aside from the graphics, I don't understand why my hands are on fire. The game controls don't say anything about being able to shoot fireballs or anything. You can just jump and move. So I don't know what the point of this is. Maybe if we go on into water, I mean, great, great water particles. Look at this. The water looks amazing. Snow looks amazing. But what am I supposed to do? What's the point of this? I, if, if you're going to give the, the main character flamey hands, uh, at least give us a point for that. I mean, is it is it just like teasing us? Like, let's let's give the main character flame hands and let's have it not be able to do anything. Like, no, you can't shoot fireballs. You you can't you can't light torches with your flame hands. You have flame hands and you just walk around a snowy world and you don't freeze to death. Maybe the, yeah, that's probably it. You you are imbued with flame hands so you don't die of frostbite. But, you know, maybe maybe I'm speaking too soon. Let's just uh, see. Maybe we can go somewhere. I don't know. We've been in the lake. Nothing happened. Let's go somewhere else and see if something will happen. Climbing up the old hole here. And let's go into the forest. Let's see if we maybe can set trees on fire. Wait, wait. Did I just do something? Did you? I think the hand moved a little bit, but it, it doesn't again when I click again. Damn it. All right, let's try that again. Nothing. Nothing happens. Okay. Um, so, why, why are the hands on fire? In the meadow, we can build a snowman. I mean, I there's no way I build a snowman because my hands are on fire. There's no way I can roll a snowball. So, uh, somebody else built the snowman and left me here to taunt me. Maybe the snowman wasn't built. Maybe the snowman is a sentient being on this world. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm I'm uh, the flame. How are you today? Oh, okay, not going to answer me. Then die! Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I, I don't want to leave the lake. Because I feel like if we leave the lake here, then I'm just going to get lost. But I guess there's nothing to do but just to explore... Uh, this reminds me of the time when I got lost in the woods. When I was about three years old, I burned my hands on the stove and they caught fire. And it just so happened it was snowing outside. So I ran out and I, I jumped into the nearest snow pile I saw. But apparently I was running for a long time because I was far away from my house. This was uh, back home when I was um, living in Norway. Um, so I was lost in the woods for several weeks. I, I There's a bear that I... That I that I saw there and we, we had a fight and I killed the bear and I ate its meat and then I lived inside it until Han Solo came to save me and he rescued me and that was a thing that happened to me actually uh, so yeah we're, we're in the woods maybe someone's hunting me maybe this is like um, a, a game where we're like I'm I'm a mutant from the from the X-Men's and some rich non-mutants have dropped me into a forest and now they're uh, they're hunting me. I'm going to start hearing gunshots soon. In fact, there is no sound in the game, so I I guess I'm a death mutant. See, this is what I was talking about. I'm lost. We've been walking for 1 minute and I really don't know where the lake is. We're officially lost. Um so I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just put my hands in the snow. The hands don't even melt the snow. I was hoping maybe at the very least, since your hands are on fire, they would melt the snow and you there's some kind of melting physics in the game. It's like a 
uh, you know, a creative type of game where you just run around and cause havoc, melting snow, but you really don't do anything except walk around. Granted, this is one of the better looking Unity games I've seen, but because there's no sound effects, there's no point, and most importantly, there's no reason to have flame hands, so the game is just uh, basically cock teasing you. They're like, yeah, look at this, you have flame hands, so you probably thought there was going to be some action in the game, but there isn't. It's a walking simulator. See you in hell, walker. Um, yeah, because of all that, this is an awful game. Uh, and it would just be so so easy to make this a great Unity game by just adding in some anime, uh, some enemies and giving you the ability to shoot your flames from those hands or something. I don't know. Oh, man. I'm getting flashbacks of the time I was lost in the woods and Han Solo saved me. Or whatever I said. Someone saved me. Wait, was that... Was that from Star Trek, or did that happen to me? I don't, I don't remember anymore. I'm, I'm hallucinating now. Uh, anyway, this is a great-looking Unity game, but uh, it's also a cock tease without a point, so it's an awful game that just looks good. You know what this game is? This game is the equivalent of, like, a supermodel that doesn't bathe and has a horrible personality. Like, she looks good in pictures and magazines, but if you're actually dating her, like, she constantly smells like dirty socks and she's always cursing at you. That's, th that's what this game is. It looks good, but there's no gameplay, so you can't really have any fun except to look at the game from far away. It gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a melted snowman out of 10. Thanks for watching. Wait, I, maybe I'm speaking too soon. I feel like just around the corner, there's going to be something. Like right there, I feel like we're getting to the edge of something. If we just walk a little bit more, there might be something here. Like, I think this is a cliff or something. Did, did I just see? There's lightning. Look at that. There's lightning in the game. Are you guys seeing that? Maybe you, you can't see it in the actual um, uh, recorded footage, but... There's, I'm seeing like lightning striking in the game, and uh, and we fell into. It's like string theory. It's like little white strings that are appearing and disappearing everywhere, and now we're falling into the abyss. Yep, this is actually a great measure. Now we know this is an awful game. This is a great measure of an awful game, where there's just an, an ending to the map, and they decided not to program in just like an invisible wall so you just jump off the world and the earth disappears and there's just the trees and from here we can basically see the entire map it's just a bunch of trees i think the lake was that was that the lake right there there's probably a few lakes there's a few different like uh circles where the lake could be there's a few different clearings anyway but yeah we see the entire map <laughs> And we just continually keep falling into nothingness. There we go. Just falling into nothingness with a bunch of white strings. All right, now I, I can safely say thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends, now. Because there's no way nothing else will happen. I am curious just to see how far we can fall. I mean, wow. In terms of uh, scope, this is a huge world. It's like destiny in terms of size. But uh, unfortunately, you don't do anything. <laughs> All right, well, um, yeah, we're just going to keep falling. Maybe I should make like a 24-hour playthrough to see just what happens after 24 hours of continually falling. I'll record 500,000 gigabytes of gameplay here, and we'll see what happens. Oh, man. Maybe there's some kind of Easter egg at the end of all this when I actually land. Yeah, we should see what happens when you fall off the world in the Unity game and just continually fall. Like, is there, like, another, like, land that you land on? <laughs> like, the secret Unity Easter egg that if you keep falling for hours and hours, you actually land into a good game with a good engine? Okay, well, I think... This is, I think officially this video took longer than the actual game took to make. So we're going to have to end it right here. Flame on, Johnny Storm or whatever, Johnny Cage. The guy from the four, Fantastic Four, that can fly and can shoot fires or whatever. I don't know. I'm hallucinating. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I got frostbite on the brain. Save me, snowman. Goodbye, my friends.